Hey everybody. Hey. Uh, we wanted to talk about what we'll be sharing. We were thinking about the name of our channel and really quickly we came up with Family Forward. You know, language is an amazing thing. Tons of meaning uh, can be packed in, into just a few words. Well, the channel name Family Forward we think really quickly presents what we're about, and uh, we'd like to unpack it some. Uh, it, uh, family's really important, and it should always be moving forward, uh, hence the name. However, we all know that's, that isn't always the case. So it's imperative that we intentionally work to move our families forward. But what does that really look like? Well, here you go. It's parents living out their God-given responsibility, caring for what's really important. And I love that word care. What you do day to day is what you care about. And think about uh, some context real quick, some phrases like care about and care for. Because I kind of like care for a little bit better. It expresses, uh, you know, it's kind of like you care for your grandma. You don't just care about your grandma. And uh, anyway, that was a freebie. So um, what do you got? You got something? Uh, yeah, I first want to talk about we talk about going forward, but we need to kind of identify of what going backwards even looks like. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to look at the family. Um, it needs to be a, a healthy setting. If your home is not healthy, then anything that flows outside of your home will become stressful. Um, even if it's the thing that you run to to get away from the stress at home, that will eventually be stressful too. Um, mm -hmm. and it's really important for us to look at our posture. Um, if we don't have good posture, then we don't, we don't have the uh, ability to move forward. Um, I like to give an example Is of this, my... <laughs> am I a good example of posture? Yes, you are. Um, I like to give my, uh, an example of my son. Um, he's in speech therapy. Um, and whenever he's sitting up straight in Indian style, looking straight at the teacher, um, and they are saying words back and forth, he's doing a really good job. But as soon as he starts to feel defeated, as soon as it starts getting kind of hard, the first thing that he does is lay down. Um, and eventually he just quits talking and will not repeat mm, a, what she has to say. Really good physical, like, illustration of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so if our posture isn't right um, when it's concerning uh, marriage, family life, um, then we're going to give up pretty quickly. Um, we need to be able to stand up straight. We need to know who to go to um, for help. We need to say, no, I'm going to, we're going to work this out. This is, you know, this is forever. Um, and we want to move forward. Um, mm -hmm. So a good attitude is kind of where I guess it, it starts. Um, and concerning marriage, um, what God put together, let no man separate. Um, so that's another thing that we could look backwards and like, if we don't leave and cleave, leave our families and cleave to our spouse, that can kind of set us in a backward motion. Um, if we let our kids come between us, the Bible says what God put together, let no man separate. And I will tell you that kids will test that and they will try to separate this. So you need to protect this. Um, and even jobs, things that are good, even, I'd hate to say, uh, ministry sometimes, um, you just gotta always make sure that your family is put first, um, and, 
Yeah, and not, not not all good things are the best things. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and another thing is not growing in companionship. Companionship is such a special, amazing aspect of marriage that we, we don't really think about. Um, because Go once the I kids don't... are gone, um, once you're retired, um, once... <gasps> Yeah. Once you're not so busy, you go home to what? Um, You need to always be working on companionship um, because marriage is is your goal is oneness, and if you're not moving towards companionship, you're not moving towards oneness. Um, Another Mm. thing on my list, I know it's a pretty long list, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, Not growing. Um, and arguments. So, I know that's kind of crazy, but well, arguments. I don't, I don't argue. <laughs> I don't even don't even go there. I don't. I argue. don't either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being serious. Whatever. Um, um, <laughs> but when you don't grow from your arguments, um, mm. that's when you start going backwards. Because you can or fail. Stand still. You can fail forward. Right. The, the, the failure is is isn't necessarily. Um, a bad thing. It's how we learn. Mm-hmm. So now there's failure from negligence, uh, but there's also failure from being a human. And I mean, my goodness, there's there's so much to be learned from from failing. But you don't, you know, uh, skip over succeeding either. You know, that's that's also uh, it's okay. It's okay to win mm-hmm. as well. But uh, yeah, know. and you need to fight fair. Um, honestly, if um, if your wife or your husband um, didn't mow the grass or do the dishes and that's wife, getting under your wife skin. Wife doesn't cut the grass. <laughs> Whatever. Who, what kind <laughs> so, of world do we do live in? Some women do mow the cut grass. Um, but if housework isn't getting done and you start yelling about their attitude or money, but really what's under your skin is that your socks aren't washed. Uh, we got to get to the point, move past name calling and all of that, and really get to the root of the problem, mm-hmm. or you're not going to grow. Mm-hmm. You're just at a standstill it's, or moving backwards. You're, sh- you're showing what you what you care about. Mm-hmm. What do you what do you really care about? What you're doing, if you're arguing and name calling or whatever, then that's that's actually kind of you know you, you know showing what your deal is. So mm-hmm. yeah. do you actually care about the you know your your spouse's feelings and her, you know their day, what they're going through, and all. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, and that can kind of lead to going to two different directions when you're arguing. You you end up um, and you're not arguing in a fair way. Um, you start letting that separate, and you're constantly wanting to come together and move forward together. And understanding each other's roles, I think, is so important. Um, if I loved how one time we went to a marriage conference and they said, okay, women, you are four quarters and husbands, you're a dollar. We're equal, but we just have different roles. So if you're not understanding each other's roles, you're stepping on each other's toes and you're moving backwards um, because you're sitting down and you're giving up and you're shutting up typically or over talking each other. So understanding each other's roles is so important in marriage um, and a successful marriage. Um, And really the last thing that I have is extending grace and forgiveness and um, making sure that we receive that as well like that is so important to always be forgiving and extend grace Mm -hmm. when it's needed because if you don't extend grace you don't receive grace back and we all need grace Mm -hmm. yeah because it and you, you know you can use grace to do what you were just doing it's talk about the hard stuff and talk about the 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 things that you're not supposed to do. Uh, you you need to talk about that stuff. You know it's so you, you it's hard to apologize if you don't say what you're apologizing for. And uh, you you know you have to talk about it. And it's okay. Uh, it, you know that's how you know what to turn from. You turn from 
what's not important, you turn from bad things or things that are not the best to the things that are the best. And because there are things that are the best and uh, that um, that's what we want to talk about. That's what moving forward is. And uh, so I think I learned something. I, I like this. Mm. This is pretty good. I'm a great teacher. I feel like we are companions. That's a that's a funny word, companion. If I keep saying that, it like loses its meaning. Like <laughs> posture, posture, posture. Have good posture with your companion. But no, seriously, um, that's good stuff. And so we hope to keep the videos coming. Uh, you know, we're we're gonna be kind of uh, just natural with this. It's not like we're, you know, going to just do speeches or something. So uh, we might not uh, be perfect, but uh, I hope that uh, it makes some sense and and uh, y'all like it. And uh, just keep uh, keep an eye out for some more stuff. So everybody, uh, I hope you have a good day. And uh, that's a wrap. Bye.